<laughs> Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday, right? A friendly cheap Friday. Oh my goodness, it's a beautiful winter. I think it was like 70 degrees last Friday, and now it's like we are beautiful snow covered. It's like perfect. If you don't have to leave the house, there's a little bit of snow falling. The pine trees have all of this, um, you know, snow covered, like lightly covered. It's like sprinkled like powdered sugar on the land. So it's beautiful. Hey, Teresa. Hello, Monica. Thanks for joining us, ladies. So yeah, beautiful Friday before the week of Thanksgiving and like the hustle and bustle, right, of the holidays and all of that is about to begin. Oh my goodness, we have so much fun stuff. I have like a ton to show you guys today. So I'm going to talk probably a million miles an hour. Not that I don't always do that anyway, but I've got class this afternoon. So I've gotten that all set up, but I'm going to have to run on out of here after Facebook Live to make sure I am there and ready to go for class also. But in the meantime, okay, today we are playing with, this is the super cute, the jingle, jingle, jingle stamp set. So fun sentiments. Well, we've got the jingle all the way and i love how they did that so this is the outline obviously hi debbie hello thanks for sharing the video and then you can kind of um stamp inside there and we're going to use the stamparatus today too so i'll show you how to use that to um, line that up perfectly right and then we've got tis the season to be jolly and believe in the magic and then some other cute little um imagery that you can kind of layer um, or kind of add to the sentiment so super fun stamp set getting us ready for the holidays you yes we we have a snow day today here too, Debbie. Yeah, I guess we got enough snow and it's a little bit icy out there too. So yeah, I think the kids are probably thrilled. Hi, Roseanne. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Bonnie, hello. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for sharing the video too. So yeah, I, my kids are off in college, so I don't think you get many snow days in college. You know, you just have to drive or walk or whatever you need to do to get to classes. So um, unless it's really bad. I don't know. I feel like maybe one time I've heard of Alma College down the street um, closing, but not often. So, okay, let's see what else. I've got so many good things. We are going to just, oh, okay, so I actually kind of like piled some things over here on my chair because I was running out of room. So, I went to on stage last weekend. So last we drove down uh, Friday to Indianapolis, which is like a four and a half hour drive. So not a bad drive, but a really, really boring, boring drive. I will say that. Um, but the weather was good. So that was awesome. We didn't run into any issues. It actually did snow down there in Indianapolis must have been like Friday night, Saturday morning, and then kind of throughout the day on Saturday. So it was kind of neat. Hey, Sunday, um, because um, thanks for joining us too, Sunday. Um, <clears throat> I heard um, somebody say that they met a gal from Florida that had never seen snow before. So she was super excited. So that was kind of neat. You know, we're all like, well, gee, we're really happy that we can show you some snow, like not, but you know, it was fun for her. You know, probably a handful of people were thrilled about it, but Anyway, we were inside the convention center all day long, so there are no windows really unless you like step outside into the hallway. So I didn't even know what the weather was like for most of the day. So, but yeah, I've got, okay, so let's see where to begin. Okay, so I'm sure, well, I don't know. Have you guys seen, um, I have my whole little Stampin' Up bag. I'm just going to bring it right on over here and I'm going to just show you. We can only show you the outside of the catalog if you haven't seen already. Um, beautiful though, the purples, right? So this is our new mini catalog. Now this one, a little bit different. They're changing things up. This one is only from January until April. Last year, this went until June. Hi, Vina. How are you? So you're only going to have four months. Make sure you get everything you want out of here. Doesn't start until January. I think it's January 5th. Without my glasses, do I even have a chance of reading that? I'm like squinting. Yes, January 5th, I think I got it, yeah. So this catalog will go live on January 5th. As demonstrators though, so if you're a demonstrator or thinking about getting the starter kit, we can actually start pre-ordering out of this catalog on December 1st. So what, in like 12 days I think we can order out of here? And then the other thing that we can do as a demonstrator, you can start pre-earning celebration rewards on December 1st also. So we can pre-order out of the new catalog and then get free celebration stuff too. So 
If that's not a good enough reason to get the starter kit, you can actually, starting December 1st, you could get new catalog product in your starter kit too. So yes, excited to see some of the new stuff. I'm glad you're doing well, Vina. Um, so yeah, but I can't show you the inside of the catalog. So just so you know that, that's like a big no-no. Um, they don't want to share kind of like the artwork detail yet. I think it's those, I keep saying those Chinese companies that are copying us, they don't want them to see the artwork so that they can like try to recreate things. I think I don't know. That's just my impression. I have no idea. But basically, we can show you the outside. So Celebration, the new mini catalog, start on January 5th. If you want to get the starter kit, you can start getting stuff early starting on December 1st. But in the meantime, so I can't show you the inside of the catalog, but I can show you some of the product that we received. Hi, Anna. Hello. And I got to meet Anna at um, on stage. She had sent me, I think you posted right on here on our last Facebook Live that you're going to Indianapolis also. So we got to connect and give big hugs and she gave me a cute swap card too that I think yes I have I'll show you that right now this was Miss Anna's card <laughs> it was great to meet you too so Anna gave me this super cute we love the birdies right super cute swap card so thank you Anna it was great to meet you I actually didn't make any swaps I ran I always run out of time plus it's this kind of weird awkward time where like um I really wish we could swap with like new catalog stuff but we don't have any of that yet so anyway but super cute the little a little bird told me it's your special day so it's like a birthday and then she put her name on the inside too so thank you anna that was so fun to meet you and get your swap card too okay i'm gonna just kind of start throwing things over onto my i always like bring my chairs out and like use them as more room to throw everything okay so let's see oh what do I want to show you guys next? I'm like kind of digging around in my bag here. Okay, I'm going to show you. So in, um, we got this great box. So let me show you the box too, okay? So everyone, and it's beautiful. So I think this is going to kind of give you an idea of there's some designer series paper that has these pretty, it's like, like a painting, like splotches. Like what do I want to say? It's like a painting palette, right? So there's the other side, the back. I guess it's all blues there, right? But is that, yeah, that's not upside down. Yeah, so beautiful box. And in the box was an awesome notebook. And you can see, like, look, there's another example of the paper too. So a beautiful notebook that we could um, take notes in. And it's got the little Stampin' Up! logo, but it's hard. So it's kind of like, a, like you have a clipboard almost that you get to write on. And then this beautiful pen too. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's, and I was saying like when you take it out of the package, I was showing everybody at our um, meeting, we had our uh, Inkspired Stampers team meeting. It's like really like heavy, like heavy duty, like a really good, substantial, nice, beautiful. Can you guys kind of see? I think again, this might mimic some of the new designer series paper. Hi, Lori. Thanks for joining us. See you at class and Sunday too in just a little while. Okay, that goes that way. Um, and then, oh, some pins, some super cute. I haven't even taken them out of here, right? But there's an on stage pin and everybody got different ones. So I got the little bumblebee, which that's funny. I have a friend who um, has bees and um, makes honey. So I might have to give her that pin. And then there's that little one, like the flowers right there too. I, I have to set this aside because I'm gonna meet with my friend Ellie, who is the beekeeper, I think this weekend or next week. So I gotta keep that. I'm like an out of sight, out of mind. So if it's like laying on my counter when I see her, then I'll be like, Ellie, I want to give you this pin. So just have to remember to do that. Oh, okay. So then the other thing, the, the best part, hi, Deb, how are you? Thanks for joining us. The best part of what was in that box, I think, is this beautiful green. It's like kind of, I don't know, maybe I would say Emerald Envy in terms of um, stamping up colors, right? But this, so it's kind of, um, is it almost like a le leather suede like very soft and beautiful. So I don't know if I back up, you can see, right? Like, so it's like a little crossbody kind of thing, right? Isn't this beautiful? So then, um, and I'm like perfect. I feel like, like this is going to be great, like Christmas shopping, like it's a Christmas green, right? So this is the inside. You can't really see too much, but they always put their logo. So that's kind of fun. Um, and then it's got a nice clasp on it and then a pocket in the back. So I'm like, oh, I can probably put my phone and my chapstick in there. So maybe my keys. So anyway, I didn't want to put anything in it until I got to show you guys. But beautiful bag also. So you probably see people running around with those too. Um, oh, and 
and then so I was I was kind of laughing like joking at my team meeting I didn't bring I had the sleeve for my umbrella and I think this might have been something that we got for going to center stage I, I started thinking like so center stage is something that they do for demonstrators that are at the title of silver elite and above and I kind of got everything and then just put it all together and I'm like what did we get? Like, I couldn't separate really what we got, but I'm pretty sure that not everybody got this um, umbrella, which it's not a big deal, but anyway. Um, so it's this, and I was actually, sorry, I'm going a million miles an hour. I've been making like my lists, like my Christmas shopping list, and then there's always like a thing or two I might need, or maybe I'll tell my kids they would be ideas for Christmas, and one of them was an umbrella. So this is like the funniest thing, like Stampin' Up! knew that like I, I needed a new umbrella. So anyway, it's got... Okay, this was the other thing I was saying too at my team meeting, like, do I have to like cross my fingers or something? Because isn't it like bad luck if you open an umbrella inside? I mean, we're already getting lots of snow, so I don't know if it's like a rain snow thing, but so everybody cross their fingers while I open up this umbrella because you have to see the inside. The outside is black with that Stampin' Up! logo on it, right? But the inside, that's what you guys, can you guys, can this, hold on, I should like, let me do this, right? Okay, so are you crossing your fingers? Why does it seem, huh? Well, I don't know. Maybe I've already broken it or something. I'm not sure, but. <laughs> okay, so there's the inside. Can you guys see? Isn't that beautiful? Like, look at all those. So you're like walking along, right? And there's the underneath the inside of your umbrella and it's just beautiful, isn't it? So, okay, so I didn't like totally open it, right? Does that count? Like, right? So there's not gonna be any bad luck. That's right, I'm just like trying to make sure. No bad luck, but beautiful umbrella that we received. And then, okay, I know you guys are all dying to see the product. So let's see, we received, what did we get? I think this might have been in my box also. <laughs> Thanks for sharing them. I know it is burr cold, that's for sure. So the hand-drawn dots, this is a background stamp. I can see lots of fun ideas with this stamp, right? And it's cute because it's not like super symmetrical. So it, it looks like somebody like really drew the dots, right? So hand-drawn dots stamp set. Um, and then what else did we get? Oh, okay. I'm going to show you this one next. So we all, I think these were like all attendee giveaways. We had a few of them. I'm kind of drawing a blank, but I think that everybody got this one. So this is the Beautifully Happy. This is a celebration stamp set. This one is going to be free with a $100 order. So let's see. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Yes, that's very true. Yes, Anna. So Anna is referring to Price Patrol. I'm going to show you. I'll show you that prize next. So on our um, name badges, they put a number on the back of them, and then that was like your prize patrol number, and they put a number up on the big screen, so maybe like one through five. So whatever number was on the back of your name tag, when your number came up, then you got to get like that prize. So not everybody got the same stuff, but I'm pretty sure, Anna, you tell me, I think that you got that hand-drawn dot stamp set, and then also this beautifully happy, um, this is a photopolymer, I guess you can't see that, right, but it's a photopolymer stamp set, beautifully happy with a lots of like kind of the two-step stamping so you got your outline and then kind of coloring in i love that right where you just stamp instead of color not that i'm like getting more into coloring i will say that okay thanks anna i'm glad that i was thinking that we both that everybody got these but so stamp um in uh, sentiments let's see right for a feeling oh that's awesome for a feeling better kind of day i guess i haven't looked at these very closely and then there's sending happy thoughts those are those two right there then we've got for a very happy birthday kindness matters thank you oh this is good and you are easy to love and then like i said the rest of the images are kind of that two-step stamping so beautiful beautiful stamp set Again, put that on your list, free with a $100 order, right? Uh, starting on January 5th. And then, I think everybody got this one too, the Decorative Borders stamp set. So this was a beautiful stamp set that is going to be available in the next mini catalog. Again, January to April only. So they're both going to end. I kind of skipped past that earlier, didn't I? So the, the annual catalog will end at the end of April, maybe be very beginning of May, and then so will the mini catalog. So they're both going to end at the same time, which is good because that was a little confusing to me and I'm sure to everybody else. But anyway, this one is going to be available, the Decorative Borders stamp set. Lots of beautiful imagery in there, right? Awesome. Okay, and then my prize patrol 
was on, I was number three. And so anybody that had a number three got some of our combo, let's see, a three twine combo pack in Coastal Cabana, Garden Green, and Pumpkin Pie. Coastal Cabana right there, Garden Green, and Pumpkin Pie. So awesome set of twine. And then we all also received this designer series paper, and it is called the D Dry Brushed Metallic Specialty Designer Series Paper. And check that out. So it's kind of, it's like a gold shimmer and then maybe Calypso Coral Stormy. We don't need to bar. I don't think anybody's here. Okay, nope, I don't see anybody coming up on the porch. That was a false alarm, big guy, okay? So we have, like I said, we've got that piece right there. So two of that one, and then I'll let that slip down. And then we have two of this one also. Isn't that beautiful? And what color is that? I have to look in the catalog, but it's kind of a blue. Maybe Bermuda Bay Pool Party is what I'm gonna guess, but isn't that gorgeous? You guys can see both of them there. So everybody, this was another all attendee giveaway was that beautiful designer series paper. So gonna have lots of fun playing with some new things. Um, that's really all I have to show you in terms of new, oh, well, uh, almost, let me think, let me look up, let me look at this. We actually also, our make and takes were a new kit, and this is available online right now, so it's not going to come in the new, um, in the next mini catalog. If you're interested in this kit, you can get it right now. So these were the two cards that I made. It came with, well, I guess you could make four different ones. There were four different sentiments. I'll show you. I didn't, I didn't really have a flyer to print out, but hi, Amy, how are you? Thanks for joining us. So I think they're kind of good, like masculine cards too. But so there's this one right here that says, you make the world a better place. And then they give you, so they give you like that piece. They give you those little gems. They give you the world globe. You do your stamping there. And then can you see, it's really um, kind of a marbly look to the card base, right? And then there's this one that says time to celebrate and same idea, same card base. And then there were two different patterns. If you see that black, piece, that kind of black pattern designer series paper. And then also these two envelopes coordinate kind of with that um, designer series paper too. So maybe you can see a little bit better on the back there also. So those also, but you, I believe you get, it's probably 16 cards that you can make and then 16 envelopes. This is the stamp set that I don't know if that's going to be backwards, but you can see we stamped the clock kind of the world image, and then these four stamps. Thanks, I can always count on you. Time to celebrate, you make the world a better place, and happy birthday. So it's actually five sentiments. So that is available right now. If you go to stampinup.com and click on kits, you would be able to see that right there also. But that was our, those were our make and takes. So that was kind of nice because we just sat at the table and we had our lunch and we could do our make and takes and we could chat with the people that were at our tables and we met some new people. So Beth Martin, um, one of my team members, one of our Inkspired Stampers, um, went down to Indianapolis with me. So we got to carpool down there and chat about lots of stuff and then hang out for the day on Saturday um, and you know learn all this fun new stuff and do the make and takes. And then there were other ladies that we sat with at the table that we got to get to know me and get to know also. So that was awesome. And like Beth kept saying, everyone is so nice. And it's true. Like the people that we sat with were wonderful. We picked a great table, you know, to sit with. And then she loved kind of um, seeing the demonstrators up on stage doing their thing. Cause they ask, you know, just real live people, just like she and I, or you, you know, whoever, whoever's a demonstrator, they might ask to sit in front of, I think we had like 900 demonstrators there. So that I'm like, I hope they never ask me. Cause I think I would, I think I, I would not be able to do it. <laughs> that is not my thing. I don't mind being in, on this Facebook Live because there I don't see 900 people out there, right? Uh, but yeah, I don't think I could do that. Um, but anyway, everyone everyone was so nice. We got to like meet some of the corporate team like from Stampin' Up! in Salt Lake City. So that was awesome. Really kind of, you know, just feel like you get to know people a little bit. So just an awesome, awesome time. And then there were some swaps that were done. Um, so... And this one was just a lady just came up to me and said she had an extra box and would I like it? And I was like, oh, sure, because check this out, right? So isn't that beautiful? And this is the coolest thing. Can you see? Like it opens like this, right? And so the back has the, the cardstock. I might have to figure out, right, like how did she do that, right? Oh, and this is kind of funny because when you open up the inside, there were 
three Hershey bars in there. Now it's down to only two. I can't believe they're not all gone, actually. I'm, I'm, I'm actually feeling really proud that there's only one missing. And then she put um, some uh, sticky notes in there. So that kind of gives you an idea of the size, too. Those, those square sticky notes, like three by three, fit perfectly in there. But isn't that beautiful? But I don't think I even got her name. She just said, I have this extra. And I love that paper, too, with haven't really used. Is it, um, is it Cottage Rose? Something like that. Um, that designer series paper. I'm looking at that. I'm like, I'm going to have to pull that out because I haven't used that very much. That's, ooh, actually that's from the annual catalog too. So on sale, we'll talk about that in just a sec. Then Miss Beth, who rode down with me, gave myself and my uh, boyfriend, Andy, came with us too. So she was so cute. She hopped in the car and she gave us both these treats. So there was this one right here and it's got like, just so you guys can see the size, right? It's got a granola bar in there. And then she also did some beautiful coloring on this one too, like the little pumpkin, the little, is she a happy, she's a happy, she's a chubby, fit, chubby cheeked, um, happy witch, right? And then there were some treats. Yeah, there were some treats inside there too. So I've, I've been good. I haven't eaten everything yet, but I'll, I will, don't you worry. And then I made this little tag because um, they always give us bags. And so I thought we would, instead of a purse, I was, you know, usually it's more of like a bag bag. But so I made these little bag tags for Beth and I um, so that we could put them on our bag. So this one just says, these are the moments we'll look back on with joy because I love that sentiment. So yeah, okay. All right, I think that's all. I'm like looking to make sure, but I, I guess if I missed anything, I'll show you later. But that's what I, that's that's what happened on stage. So it was lots of fun. The demonstrations were wonderful. Got you all excited and gave us lots of great ideas too for things to you know do with all these new products that we'll be able to get our hands on very soon. So, okay, all right. Crafter math, it's already happened. <laughs> My goodness. Okay. All right. What is next? Okay. Oh, yeah. So we'll jump right in. Seasonal sale. So as an example, this designer series paper that was on this little box right here, that's what made me think of it. So the seasonal sale, it's all on annual catalog product. So kind of put your mind aside from holiday catalog product right now, but annual catalog product, the seasonal sale, today is the last day to order and get the sale prices. So if you can believe this, okay, here's like, there's a whole like printout um, and you can access it online or you can see all of these products right online too. Just go to stampinup.com, click on shop and you'll be able to see all of this. But here's kind of the basic down low, right? So from, again, from only from the annual catalog, punches are 10% off. So there's this whole list, stamps, all of the stamps in the annual catalog are 15% off. I don't think we've ever had a sale like that. And that is one two, that's three, four pages long of stamps. Okay, so that's a ton of stamps. And then dies are 20% off. That's a full page. Actually, it's almost two pages. Embossing folders and designer series paper are all 20% off. So again, from the annual catalog, right? Punches are 10% off. Stamp sets are 15% off. And then dies, embossing folder, and designer series paper are all 20% off. But today, so tonight at midnight, Salt Lake City Standard Time, which I, I don't know if they're a two or three hour difference now with our time change thing that just happened. Anyway, so I would say don't wait. Order by 2 a.m. tonight if you're um, Eastern Standard Time, okay? Because I think that might convert to midnight Mountain Time. Um, yeah, get your order in. Take advantage of this awesome, awesome sale that we're having. Like I said, I don't think we've ever had such a great sale. So I'm super excited. And I have to go put this over here near my purse so I don't forget to take it to class with me. I'm going to do that right now so I don't forget. Okay, see, I'm like a, definitely very systematic. have my methods here. Um, okay, the other thing I just want to announce very quickly is that the last chance lists have been announced from our holiday catalog. Well, I, I don't know if people are even sharing them or not because, whereas I was going to show you the holiday catalog, but do I even have it? Well, shoot, I don't know. It's not right there. Where did it go? Anyway, you guys know, holiday catalog, last chance list. So things are going to be discounted starting December 1st. So you've got a little bit of time. What I will say is you can wait and get those discounted prices, or if there's something that you absolutely love out of the, uh, hi Teresa, out of the um, 
holiday catalog, order it now. Um, I'll give you an example, like the Lights Glow Designer Series paper is already sold out. So they didn't even have to put it on a last chance list. It's like, it's already too late. So just make sure, get what you want out of that holiday catalog while you can. If you're like, eh, if it's okay, if you don't get it, maybe wait until December 1st and then take advantage of the sale prices. So not a ton is gonna sell out between now and then, but I just don't want anybody to be heartbroken that they really wanted something and it sold out because um, that ended up, ended up on the last chance list, okay? So I'll be sharing that too over the next little bit, the last chance list, but you can't order it yet anyway until December 1st and get those sale prices anyway. So, But pretty much most everything goes. There's very little, um, like honestly, what do I have? Like one, two, three, like four pages of last chance stuff and one page in bigger print of carryover stuff. So there's just not that much that's carrying over. Okay, um, I think, let's see, let's do, I think we're ready to do our first drawing, okay? So here we go. We are gonna draw for, we're giving away today, yes, the Fine Sparkle Gems, okay? Your name is in my little basket. If you shared our last Facebook Live video, if you shared my class to go kit posts, or if you signed up for my email list. The link for the email list is always above the details to this Facebook Live video, okay? All right, here we go. We have one lucky winner of the fine sparkle gems. They go to Miss Sabina Miller. All right, congratulations, Sabina. I will put these little adhesives, uh, fine sparkle adhesive back gems, excuse me. I'll put those out on the porch for you. So congratulations. All right, then on our next Facebook Live, we have, actually I gotta dump those out too. Get ready for my next drawing. There we go. All right. So on our next Facebook Live, which is going to be two weeks from today. So next Friday after Thanksgiving, no Facebook Live. We will be back. I think it's December 2nd. We'll be back then on December 2nd for our next Facebook Live. Okay. So we will give away the iridescent rhinestones. I love these things. I use them all the time. They're just the perfect little um, embellishment. And because they're iridescent, they can kind of like bend to whatever color you need them to be for your project. So beautiful set of rhinestones. That's what we'll give away. Again, share this Facebook Live video right here, this one right here. Share the class to go kit post or sign up for my email list and your name will be in the drawing to win those rhinestones. Okay, I'm cruising right along. I think we're doing all right. Um, let's see. Oh, okay, so we also had, I think I mentioned this, we had our team meeting last, well, Tuesday night it actually was. So it's been a busy week. Let me tell you, there's been something going on like every night this week, I feel like. So I am ready to, <laughs> um, after, after Facebook Live, after class, and after I put all my orders in from class so I can get everybody their discount on their, you know, on their seasonal sale stuff. And then I'm gonna relax, I think. So we'll see. Anyway, in the meantime, here are our make and takes that we made at our team meeting the other night. So these were all gift card holders and then a little box to put them in, okay? So we've got the fun little tis the season to be jolly sentiment right there. And then I'm gonna untie that bow. And so just so you guys know, this box opens like that, okay? And then inside, we have a little gift card holder. My friend Melissa Roberts um, was making these. Um, we all got together and did like a crafting, like a girls crafting weekend here at my house a couple weekends ago. And she was making these and I was like, oh, perfect. We're gonna make those um, for um, make and takes at, class, or at our meeting. So that ribbon just slides off and then this opens up, right? And then your gift card goes in there and then your sentiment, you can write whatever you want inside there. But isn't that cute? So it kind of goes like that, right? So that was one of them. And then we also, this one is straight out of the dies, the Celebrate with Tags dies, I think it's called. Um, you just put adhesive along here. And I actually tied that. If you didn't, if you just stuck the um, bow on there, you could kind of squeeze the sides and it would, you know, it would like open up like that. And you could just slip your gift card in there. I did use this exact type of, I think about that look, right? On a card on Facebook Live recently too. So if you wanna see how I made that, you could go back to that Facebook Live too. And then we have super simple little matchbox holder, kind of gift card holder. So that just lifts up like that, right? And then lastly, we have one more. This was another one that my friend Melissa was making and I was like, oh, we're gonna make that one too. I think she was gonna do a gift card holder class. So just untie the bow. And then this one opens up like this 
in this. And then there's a little pocket right there to put your gift card in. And then you can write whatever you'd like to on that little bit right there. So isn't that fun? So I think everybody at our team meeting enjoyed putting those together too. And it's great to have those on hand. Um, I'm already like, ooh, I'm gonna use those couple, a couple of those for my kids for Christmas too, I think, right? Then let's see, what else do I wanna show you guys? Swaps, we had swaps from our team meeting. And now I'm gonna try to remember who, okay, good, this one is labeled. So Susie made this card, again, with that framed and festive stamp set. I used that a couple of times on our make and takes too. This was Miss Beth Martin, the Scotty dog, so cute, right? And then let's see, this one was from Sharon Greening. Beautiful, love those pine cones, right? This was one of our newer Inspired Stampers. Elsie made this one and with the little gnome, so cute, right? She did a beautiful job coloring. And then this one was from Charlene, made this uh, make and or, um, swap right here. Now these two, I am not totally sure. I'm gonna guess, Sunday, if you're still watching, that maybe Sunday made this one. It, it didn't have a name on it and I wasn't over there when they were swapping. And then maybe Jenny made this one. But isn't that cute? It's like a little, um, oh, I love that, right? Like a little um, uh, Christmas tree ornament, right? So very, very cute. So beautiful swaps. We do this too. So just so you know, even long distance team members. So if you're thinking, oh, I wish I could be there and do that. You still can, even if you're not local. Make your swap. So for example, you, if this was your swap, you'd make 10 of these, mail them to me. I take them to our meeting. I swap them around with everybody and then I mail your swaps back to you. So you can still participate too, even if you're not local. So long distance team members, and you can get the make and takes too. Um, if you're an expired stamper, I send you the make and takes and then um, go through how to put them together at our team meeting too, okay? So I try to make that you know accommodating for local people and long distance people, especially with our Facebook group and our Facebook Lives. Uh, okay, so I also love to send cards, which actually I don't have that card here, do I? But I'll send cards to my top five sellers each month, and if they sell over $600 in a month, they also get to be into the $600 club, and I give them a fun prize for making it into the $600 club. The reason why I highlight $600 is because Stampin' Up! actually gives an extra commission or basically they give you extra cash. So if you have over $600 in sales in a month, you get more money from Stampin' Up! They pop it right into your bank account. So I love to make sure that people know that, especially if you're close. Yes, Sunday, I'll see you in a little while. Um, so anyway, this was the ribbon that I gave. It's that gold, beautiful gold sparkly ribbon was a $600 club prize um, <clears throat> for this month. And then we also do something called a mystery project, which is kind of fun. So the idea, kind of fun, I think it's lots of fun. So the mystery is you don't really know. Like I give you the um, kind of dimensions, how to cut and score your card base, your designer series paper, and give you some general um, ideas. And then you just like pull stuff out of your stash bring it to the team meeting or while you're watching on Facebook Live and we put our cards together during the team meeting. So this was what I came up with for the mystery project. And it's basically a card with the belly band. And so I'll give you everything that you need, like even in terms of like the dimensions for your belly band, right? Here is the actual card and then it opens like that. So I would tell them they need these pieces of designer series paper. I told them that I use the deckled rectangles in this case, I don't always even do that. Um, and then there's the other one right there, right? And then the fun thing was this stamp is also from that framed and festive stamp set. Um, and then I love these dies too. These are the designer tags dies. So you can see those are the dies that I use. So actually maybe if I put my hand over on this side, right? So I use this die two times. So once on the blue to die cut everything and do um, the detail. And then I just use the outline on the white um, to do my sentiment. So, and these dies are 20% off right now on that seasonal sale. So keep that in mind, ladies. Okay, I think we've gotten through all of that. Are we, okay, we are at the point where we are gonna do our drawing for, I've been mentioning it a couple of times, that awesome, this is part of the Fitting Florets Suite um, the, actually I have that fire right here. I'm gonna pull that back out. So the Fitting Florence Suite right here. This is something they've kind of done like a pre-release out of 
the next mini catalog. So this stamp set and those dies, you've probably been seeing if you watch anybody online, there are lots of projects being posted with that um, framed florets stamp set and the framed florets dies. Those are gonna carry over into the next mini catalog. These, I should have a big red X over them. Those have already sold out, those gold swirls. So don't love those. If you didn't get them, just close your eyes and forget about them because you can't get them anymore. This is the stamp set that I'm talking about, the framed and festive stamp set. This is only available right now while supplies last also. And then the designer series paper, also only available while supplies last. It's called the Fitting Florence designer series paper. So you can see that right there. So you kind of want to keep your eye on the stamp set and the designer series paper. These things will carry over, but that stamp set and DSP are only available right now while supplies last. So one lucky person who put an online order in through me, hi Pam, how are you? Will win, because your name is in the drawing right now, for the framed and festive stamp set, okay? So I did something a little bit different because we were, we were having the $1,000 workshop as well. So this is how I was running this, right? So if you put a $50 order in, your name is in the drawing, well, $50, well, below $100, right? So between $50 and $100, your name is in the drawing to win the Framed and Festive stamp set. You will be receiving both of these cards as a thank you from me in the mail. Those were my cards from last Facebook Live. And they also got to pick from the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or the free embellishment for the month, okay? If you bumped your order up to $100, you automatically get either $20 in free product or a half price item. You can pick like the most expensive item other than the die cutting machine. You can't get that one at half off, but pretty much anything else you can get at half off. Your name is in the drawing to win the Framed and Festive stamp set, and they also get five free handmade cards from me as a thank you. Okay, so now, right, that I've explained all that, here we go. We are gonna draw. One lucky winner is gonna win. So let me, if I haven't told you guys, framed and festive stamp set. Sentiments, Merry Christmas, fa la la, tis the season to be jolly, from our home to yours, from all of us, Noel, may this season be filled with peace and joy and have a Merry Christmas, okay? So one lucky person is going to win that stamp set right now. Let's see, who is it going to be? Let's see, do I have got a couple of them bunched up there? Okay. One winner in my hand, and it goes to Miss Teresa Hinchman. All right, congratulations, Teresa. You are the winner of the framed and festive stamp set. All right, oh, and the other thing that makes me think too, I still need to draw, so names, I need to put names in the drawing to figure out if you get the um, $20 in free product or the half price item if you participated in a $1,000 workshop. So like Teresa is one of them that did a $100 order, um, so I need to let everybody know what they're getting too. So I'll, I will do that, that's next on my list. You're welcome, Miss Teresa. Thank you for your order too. I appreciate that. Okay, so we gotta keep that right there and that right there. Okay, so on our next Facebook Live in two weeks, we're back to the regular dealio, where when you put a $50 order in, minimum $50, you can order as much as you want though, right? Your name will go in the drawing to win the cheerful basket stamp set, okay? So more fun sentiments. You fill my day with happiness, I love that, right? Sending you some get well cheer and inspired by you, right? And then look at the cute little kitty cat. <laughs> so, so cute in the little basket, and then all the things you can fill your basket with, right? So super duper cute stamp set. I wanted to go with something, I'm, I start to feel like about this time, I'm like, does everybody have what they want for holiday stuff? So I tend to kind of jump back to annual catalog stuff, and now I'm like, oh, I can get more things at a discount to give away too. So anyway, your name uh, will be in the drawing to win that cheerful basket stamp set if you put an online order in through me. I'll give you the host code. In just a few moments, you will get the two cards I'm gonna um, demonstrate in just a sec, and you can pick from either the free embellishment or the PDF tutorial as a thank you. So lots and lots of good stuff as my thank yous to you for your orders, which I like I, I'll say forever and ever, I truly appreciate your orders. It's what helps me keep doing my Facebook Lives and keeps my business going and thriving. So thank you, thank Thank you, thank you. All right, I think I'm like going a million miles an hour, but I feel like I did that pretty fast. I, I was in a bit of a panic. I'm looking around and I'm like, oh my gosh, we have so much to talk about, but I think we're good. Okay, yeah, we are gonna, yeah, we're gonna flip the camera down. 
Okay, yep, I keep saying okay, like I'm trying to convince myself, yep, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, turn your heads away. We're flying through the air and we will flip that camera down. And so you guys can see what is next. All the fun, the stamping fun we are going to have, okay? All right, looks like it's... <laughs> it's a little creaky, kind of sounds like my back, what my back feels like right now. Okay, where are my glasses? And a sip of water. Let's do that real quick. Hmm. Okay, host code for November right there, the 77SEJBC4. I hope I said that right. Okay, <laughs> I keep trying to convince myself that I'm ready. Here we go. That will help me be really ready, right? Okay, we'll scoop that up. You guys can all see, right? Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, so again, we are playing with the jingle, jingle, jingle stamp set. I'm gonna put that right there. I have my Stamparatus. So I wanna show you guys that too. Let's see, we will do, let's do this one first. Mm -hmm. I have all of these stickies. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sorry, I'm not even going to show you those. I'm just like laughing as I pull them off because I went a little crazy with my stickies. Okay, well here, you guys want to see, this is the first card that we're going to make right here, which I will tell you is a result of, again, my friend Melissa. She was my huge savior. I was like, um, can you design some scrapbook pages too while you're here? And she actually did do one set. So I'm gonna use one of her sets of scrapbook pages at class later this month too. I was like, okay, can you come every month and help design things? So anyway, I just thought that was kind of fun. I had to share because she did such a cute card with that jingle, jingle, jingle stamp set, right? I don't know if she had it yet or not. So she loves to come and play with my things too and decide, you know, what does she need also? So this was the card that she designed. And so then I decided, okay, I want to step it up just a little bit because I wanted to feature an embossing folder. If you can see, these are, this is the wintry 3D embossing folder. And there is, there are two of them in here. There are pine needles right here and then snowflakes right there. Can you guys see those? Right? Kind of get the idea. Pine needles and snowflakes. So we used the snowflakes again because I wanted to show you guys. These are 20% off. These dies are in the annual catalog. So they are 20% off. Okay. All right. Um, and my other note says bring it to class because we're actually using one in class. So I got to make sure to do that too. And then I just added some more. Um, I was like, oh, I feel like I need a little more um, like. Mm, texture, I guess I would say, right? Because this one is a very, like this is what they would call kind of like a, a beginner card. Um, although with the Stamparatus, I'm not so sure. Um, it, you just, it takes a little maybe uh, training, I guess, on how to use the Stamparatus, right? Um, but I would say this is kind of a beginner card. And then this is more of like an, um, maybe more like an avid crafter card. So we talked a lot about that at um, on stage. And people had a hard time doing the really simple cards because most of us, are maybe a little more advanced and love to like kind of just go crazy with things, right? Okay, so I wanna show you, I think we're gonna try to do our stamping first just cause I've got this right here in front of me and I'm super excited about it. What I want to share is this is how the Stamparatus comes with this plate right here. And I was trying to stamp just on this, like on this surface and it was like, it wasn't quite high enough. So then I realized, oh, I do have this kind of foam pad, but then, then I was like, well, I really need my numbers on here cause I was putting it not right in the corner. I was kind of putting it right in the middle and I was counting like two down and one over. And then I remembered, oh, that's right. I do have the little mini grid paper. So then I was all set, okay? But it took me a moment to kind of get there, okay? So just know that. They, we do have, oh yeah, I did bring it over. This little, oh, do we have numbers? Maybe they're, well, I'll have to give you the numbers. I thought sometimes we'll put numbers on these things, but I guess not. But this is the little pack of paper that you can get like your Stamparatus grid paper. Okay, so you could probably even just search that to Stamparatus grid paper and this would come up. But you definitely, I think, need this pack also because you want to be able to stamp on that little black foam piece. Okay, so what I did was, and we are going to do this one first. So you've got these little plates, right? And I'm going to put my card 
I guess right there, right? Okay, we're gonna scoot that one out of the way. Um, I'm like doing this backwards because usually I give you measurements and everything and I'm like just so excited to dive right in that that's what we're doing. Now, where is my, hmm. I had a magnet. I'll grab the other one. I don't know what happened to it. Isn't that funny? It's gotta be around here somewhere, but magnets are stored in the back. There should be one here and I've got this one here. So we'll just use this one. It's around here somewhere. But the other thing, oh, I know, that's what I wanted to do. We'll use this stamp set. It's kind of handy to, when you are inking up and working with this, that you just have like a stamp set underneath here. So it makes it a little bit easier to ink. Let's see, we'll go right there. I think that works better. Yep. Um, Cause otherwise it's kind of flapping down and it's a little bit hard to ink up the stamp. I'm like, I have notes, I just wanna make sure. Yep, line up the paper. I went two down and one over. So I'm gonna, and I love like the little um, lines right there on my grid paper. So that way if it moves at all, I can always move it. Cause this was sticking a little bit at times. Um, okay, so, and you just have to be kind of nice and easy. If you push really hard, you're gonna get ink all over the plate. So that's one thing that they do say if you have any of the little stampin' spots that those are pretty handy to have because they're not nearly as big. Or you can use like a sponge dauber, put your finger in the dauber and then ink it up that way. But like I said, I was I was pretty successful just doing it like this. And if you get ink in other places, you can get, my wipey should probably be a little bit more wet. That might be helpful, but I think we'll be all right. Okay, so. I'm trying to look, right? Okay, so this one is pretty easy because you're just gonna stamp that, right? And if something didn't come out well, you could press down again, or if you need to ink it up a little bit more and then press down. So that's kind of the beauty of the Stamparatus, right? So what we're gonna do, and I've already set these up, right? And lined them up, and I can make sure that that's good before I even ink, so you guys can see right there through that, right? That that's actually gonna be beautiful, okay? If I were starting this for the first time, what I would do is I would take that off. I'm gonna do it, I'm like scared now. That <laughs> but this would be the idea, was you'd lay this, you would lay it right on here and you'd make sure. So normally I would have my head like right, my face right down in here, but the camera's in the way. So I think I have, so it's, it's user error because of sight issues if this doesn't stamp as well as it should, because I had it all lined up <laughs> and then I had to take it off so I could show you how I would do it. But I, guess, I want you guys to know how to use your Stamparatus too, or if you don't have one, they're awesome uh, for lining things up, especially if you have a bunch of projects that you want to make. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so cute, I can tell already. Okay, so I'm pressing pretty firmly because I want all the ink to come off. And if it didn't, then I would just put it down and press again or re-ink and, and press again. But that actually turned out pretty darn beautiful, I would say. Okay, so there we go. There is number one. I'm actually gonna get this right out of here. And where am I? I'm gonna need to set it somewhere so it doesn't get ink all over everything. Cause I'm not gonna worry about cleaning it right now. Okay, we're gonna just scoot that out of the way and we'll be ready for our next one. I did get some ink on that. I kind of thought I might. So sorry, whoever wins this, if I can't get that off, it might have a little bit of that ink on it. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna deal with that later though. Okay, so here we go. Now we are going to cover that up. Oh, I forgot too. So I didn't actually, you could use your Stamparatus, but I didn't think that this was too difficult to just stamp directly. So I've got my jingle and then all the way, I'm just gonna stamp right underneath there because I feel pretty confident. I was more worried about getting um, like the outline and the lettering on the inside lined up, okay? Um, oop, actually, we also have this little baby right here, too. Might as well just do all of our stamping. We've got this cute little ornament piece right there. We're going to just stamp that guy right there. And then, actually, on the inside, we have a white piece, and I love, can you guys see? Look at that cute little, this is this teeny tiny little stamp that we will stamp on the top there, too. Okay. Um, hmm. Did I not? I did. Okay. I'm like, wait a minute, do I have? I gotta make sure. Yep, there we go. Four by five and a quarter on the inside. Okay, so we're gonna stamp that little ornament. Can you guys see? I'm like just 
barely in or out of view there, right? So we got the little ornament. Actually, I want to stamp that again because it didn't, I don't think I got it inked up. Nice, easy tap, tap, tap. We're going to press straight down. There we go. Lift straight up. Okay, so now these, this teeny tiny little bow, so cute. And I love, if you guys see this, so I tap. And then um, I like to use my pointer finger to kind of help steady my stamp and get it where I want it. Look at, isn't that so cute? I love that. Like just, it's so dainty, so tiny and cute, right? Okay, so we've got all of those. Now let me tell you dimensions. So I should have done that in the very beginning, but I didn't, so here we go. Okay, so we have Balmy Blue cardstock. This is a full sheet of cardstock. We cut it along the eight and a half inch side at four and a quarter inches, okay? And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches, okay? Next, we have, I'll just show you these pieces right here. We have the inside of our card, my standard four by five and a quarter, use that all the time. Our basic white piece measures four and one eighth by two. And then I have a couple of pieces of designer series paper. This one measures one half by four and one eighth. There, now I'm in viewer. <laughs> I'm like doing this and not seeing whether you guys can see. And then one and one quarter by four and one eighth, okay? Then I also have a piece of uh, balmy blue cardstock that we're gonna layer right on top. This one measures four and one eighth by five and three eighths. So this is the one we're going to emboss with our snowflake, the wintry 3D embossing folder, okay? So I'm gonna scoot these things up over here. We're gonna do our embossing. This one out, I actually need this platform. Okay, so because this is a littler embossing folder, we have to run it through two times, kind of the top and the bottom, so that I can get what I need here to show you guys. So if this makes sense, we're just going to put kind of the top half in. Uh, you want to put it in far enough so that when you lay it actually this way, that it doesn't rumple your paper, okay? And it's not gonna matter like if you would happen to overlap the embossing because you're gonna cover that up with your sentiment and designer series paper, okay? So we're gonna crank that one through and then we're gonna do one more. And don't forget, this embossing folder is on sale, 20% off. You can see everything that's on sale at stampinup.com. It's called seasonal sale. If you click on that, you'll see everything that you can get on sale. Also, I will include all of the measurements, item codes, everything that I used on these projects on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. Okay. Okay. There we go. All right. So check out. I love. This is beautiful, right? And again, it's not going to matter with that little crease right there because we're going to cover that all up. But isn't, isn't this so pretty? I love that embossing folder. Okay. Bring that to class. I'm putting it right over here <laughs> so I don't forget it. This is my new best system. Just do it right now. Okay. Um, I think we are. Are we ready? Mm-hmm. Another quick sip of water. Grab my craft my silicone craft map. Okay, so here's the card that we are making, right? We are, let's just put this piece right on the inside. That's the one I didn't like, my little stamp there. You guys know this, right? This card stock, our basic white card stock, is thick enough that once you put it, you know, you might, if you hold it up to the light, you can see through it, but once you put it down on this cardstock, you can't even see that any longer, right? Okay, now we're gonna work with our embossed piece and we are going to add our sentiment, run it and tip it back, right? Oops, maybe I'll put that there. You guys can see what we're doing, right? We're gonna put that right about there, okay? Love using this little silicone mat too. Uh, okay, hold on. Let's see. That one needs to go that way, right? Because this is the bigger one with the polka dots on the back. So you can see it's the same print that Celebrate Everything Designer Series paper. So cute. This is one of the host items that you can get for free with your minimum $150 order. Uh, it's in the back of the holiday catalog. Or like I said, it's called Celebrate Everything 
host designer series paper. We're just going to kind of lay that right along there, right? Okay, now we are going to tie. This is the Simply Elegant trim, and it actually comes in gold also. We're using the gold at class, so that's already at class, set up and ready to go. But you can imagine this one is silver. There's one that comes in gold also. We're gonna just tie a bow here. Okay. And this a little bit has a mind of its own. So you just kind of have to, um, well, I love it though, actually. When I say it has a mind of its own, it kind of curls in fun ways, I think. So you just kind of let it do what it wants to do, right? So we're gonna scoot that over maybe right about there, grab my scissors, snip that off. Okay, let's just put that back in there. Then we are ready. Actually, I put this on dimensionals and I forgot those. I'm gonna go run and grab them. Hello, Ashley, thanks for joining us. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go grab my dimensionals. Hopefully that's the only thing I forgot today. I'm already like peeling off the dimensionals so I can just be ready to go. I'm gonna add those right on there, okay? Press to peel those off. I saw somebody using their take their pick tool to peel off those dimensional backings. It would probably take me a lot longer <laughs> to use that than just with my fingers though. <laughs> there we go. All right, so then, oops, I put this away and I needed, I want another little teeny tiny bow. And this one, okay, glasses back on, ladies. You know, we could, actually, let's do that. Just for kicks, let's, you guys tell me which one you like better. Cause I, then I was like, maybe it's too much. Um, let's see, this, we'll see how this works out now that I'm stamping on the embossed. Okay, that worked out all right. So either way, you guys have to tell me which one you like better with the stamping or with the twine, the trim on there, right? Okay, last step is to add a few rhinestones. You know, the bling, the bling factor, it's always, it's always good, isn't it, right? Okay, so we're gonna add one. We're gonna put that right in the middle there. And then what I do, just a couple more. Hmm. Do one of these maybe right there, and then one more little baby one. We will do right there. And there we go. All right, so there is card number one, and you guys vote. Tell me, do you like more a little trim on there on the little ornament, or do you like the stamping, right? So cute either way, I'd say, right? So jingle all the way, so fun, right? Okay, so again, card number one, actually we are, I'm gonna clean these things off. Now I'm all worried about that stamp <laughs> that, I, that I'm giving away that is like, okay. Now, because it's driving me crazy, I have to go see if I can wipe it off a little bit. You know, my, this, my wipey wasn't very wet. Okay, so I'm like, okay, if this doesn't, oh yay! Which makes sense, right? That it's like a water-based ink. Okay, I feel so much better. I kept looking at that out of the corner of my eye as we're stamping. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't want to give somebody one that has ink all over it. So, shoo, I feel much better. Okay, Roseanne likes the stamp for the bow better. Okay, keep voting. Let me know. Let me know what you guys think, okay? All right, so now, now I can move on. Did I do these already? I can't even remember. <laughs> okay, there we go. Roseanne, I have room for one more at class, too, this afternoon if you're around and interested. I think I need, no, maybe I don't need I'm trying to mark if I need that black ink or not. Okay, I think we're all good there. Oh, the other thing I will show you guys, just because I kind of want to do this. Let's see if we do that there. Okay. I just use my, um, my chamois to clean these off too. And you can even, you know, it's kind of, it's like, um, I don't know, like you're doing dishes kind of. Just clean that and I can see I've got a little black ink right there. It's hard to not get it on the plates, I will say that, but it's so worth it because everything lines up so nicely. But there, now I feel better about putting it back in my tub too <laughs> and it not getting all over everything. Okay, you know, it's kind of all about your sanity level, right? Okay, so 
Next project we have, this time we did Believe in the Magic. Okay. Oh, okay. Lily is, or Willie, excuse me, not Lily. Willie is in rehab. I hope he's doing okay, Roseanne. I've been thinking about you. Oh, and Bonnie says she likes the stamp too. Okay, good to know, ladies. Maybe that was too much trim on there, huh? Okay, so this one, Believe in the Magic with that beautiful designer series paper. That's part of the Gnome Suite designer series paper and then some more little, so those little stamps are right here. So you can see kind of the fun you can have, right? Like there's that stamp in the inside. You can do the little um, lights and then the bulb right there, the little Santa hat. So you could put that over the O or something. And then those are the ones we use there. And then that cute little um, candy cane too. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, so card number two, we'll put that right there. All right, this time, because it was kind of throwing me, I'm gonna tell you dimensions first and then move on to the rest of it. Okay, oh, I found my other magnet too. <laughs> it was on this board that we're using now. Okay, so we have uh, mint macaron cardstock along the 11 inch side, cut it at five and a half inches along the eight and a half inch side, score it, oops, at four and a quarter inches. Okay, oops, for our nice crisp fold on our card. Okay, on the inside, again, four by five and a quarter inches, and we're just gonna stamp our little stars in there, right? And then I have measured pieces, uh, evening evergreen, four by five and a quarter, and that sweetest gnome designer series paper. I think that's what it is, right? Yeah, I love this. This is one of my favorite patterns in that designer series paper. And then this is beautiful too with the snowflakes. This one measures three and three quarter by five inches. So that's just gonna layer right on there. And then these pieces are for our die cutting, more evening evergreen and basic white for our deckled rectangle dies. So let's actually do those. We're gonna do our die cutting first. And then we'll do, because now normally I would uh, stamp and then die cut, but I want to get it lined up properly inside there. So I'm going to die cut both of those pieces first, and then we'll do our stamping. Okay, so let me grab my die cutting machine right here. And let's see, if I do that one there, I think those will fit like that, right? Okay. <clears throat> Make sure I have the right ones too. Oh, these are also another item from the uh, annual catalog that is 20% off. Okay, those are the right size. The deckled rectangle dies, you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dies. That tree paper, I know, Monica, isn't it's just beautiful. Yeah, so deckled rectangle dies. I'll give you the item code just in case you want it right now. It's 159. 173. Love these. If you don't have these, these dies I use all the time because they're just like the perfect little addition. They just add a little something, you know, the detail. It's almost like you ripped the paper, but you didn't. You die cut it and it just made like kind of a, I guess, a deckled edge, right? Like a, I don't know, it kind of looks like a ripped edge. Okay. So, wow, that's like a loud noise when you have brand new plates. I'm trying to keep these new just for you guys. We'll see how long they look new, but they're pretty new still right now, wouldn't you say? Okay, so there you go. See, isn't that cool? Just kind of, it's almost like you ripped it, but it's still a nice crisp edge to it also. Okay, so let's get these babies. This and this and this, okay. Those. Okay, I'm gonna just scoot this. I think we're done with our die cutting. Okay, all right. Now we are back to stamping with our Stamparatus, which is right here. Okay, right now I am going to move this magnet back inside there because you don't want these things to get too close or they like suck together and they can like hurt each other and even break. So make sure you're only using one at a time and you know one is always back here. So the other one is not in here and I thought I couldn't find it, but it's because it's already ready to go with my next um, plate here. Okay. So again, I am going to count two down and one over, and I'm going to lay this so it's straight right along there and there. Okay. And then I'm going to stamp my believe with kind of the detail, and then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to do it with the outline. 
And again, since I know, actually I'm gonna use this one since this is mine, that will be better, right? Ooh, the sun is peeking out. Okay, so we are going to, I actually used soft sea foam ink on the inside part of the Believe, okay? So we're gonna just ink this up. This one was a little bit harder. I'm like, is it inked up? It's such a light color, it's hard to tell. But if it's not, again, you could just flip it back down and try it again. And this is why I did the die cutting first because I knew I could just line everything up and get it perfectly in there. Okay, so I think I want to ink that up a little bit more. So again, you would never be able to do this and line it up, at least I wouldn't, maybe you guys would, a second time. But with the Stamparatus, it kind of ensures, unless your paper moved, that it's gonna go right back to where you needed it to go. So isn't that cool? All right, now we're just gonna flip that over and I already have that set and I can tell that it looks good all the way around there. If you weren't sure, you could always take it off like I did, lay it on top of there and then pick it up when you flip it down. Yeah, so colors, colors that I used on this card, you know, Monica, the best part is Stampin' Up! told me what colors they used on this card that they used. This one is Evening Evergreen. Soft, soft sea foam is what I stamped with. And then I also used that um, Mint Macaron as my base. And those colors are all listed in the catalog online and on the back of your designer series paper pack if you have it already. There we go. Isn't that awesome? I love, I'm like seriously like jumping up and down because I would never be able to get that stamped so perfectly and so in line, right? I mean, I could, but it would take a lot of tries to do it. So Stamparatus is my friend today and hopefully your friend too. Love, love, love that. Okay, so let me grab, I'm gonna grab my chamois again and I'll show you how easy it is to just clean this off. And I don't think I got really any or not too much if I did ink, but it's on my own stamp case, so I'm not worried about it. I don't wanna give somebody one. That was a mess. Okay, so that all looks good. And I can kind of wipe around here if I'm worried that I got any ink anywhere else, but I think that's good. All right, here we go. We'll move that right out of the way. And what are we gonna do now? Evening evergreen ink. Believe in the magic. That sun is beautiful right now. Stamp that right there. And then we are also going to uh, let's see. Did I do? I think I used mint macaron on the inside. So inside those stars. And I'm going to try it this way. I'm going to stamp the stars the inside first in mint macaron. Maybe I'm going to only do two <laughs> and I'm going to hope that I do it well. So again, I'm going to use my pointer. Okay. So mm, if this doesn't work, I should have used the Stamparatus. And um, I would normally have my head a lot closer. That's not too bad. I'm gonna go with it. Okay. You could also grab your evening evergreen marker and just kind of finish that off. I could flip it over, but I think you guys get the idea, right? Okay, so let's, oh yeah, I did those in totally the wrong place too, didn't I? Okay, so just for kicks, now I gotta try it again. We're gonna do it, cause I was thinking it was a tall card. Okay, so we're gonna do that one. I'm gonna do that one, okay? Now, let's try one more time. So I'm gonna open that up. The sun is almost kind of blinding. Do you guys notice that? That totally moved. Hmm, I think I like this one better. <laughs> We're going back over here. Okay, well, I tried. That's all right. That's how you know it's handmade, right? Because they're of the little imperfections that might be in it, but like I said, I've, I'll probably, knowing me, I'll have to go grab my um, Evening Evergreen marker after the fact, since I don't have it right here, and fill that in. That's another thing you can do. There are no mistakes, just opportunities to embellish, right, ladies? I love that saying. <laughs> okay, that, we need some more. Run it and tip it back, there we go. I finally learned, I generally don't have to advance that forward anymore because I've learned to run and tip it back. Okay, now, oh, here's my ribbon, my soft seafoam ribbon. Love this. So I was trying to find a ribbon that would work, and I want to say there's a chance that soft seafoam might not even be listed as a color on this card. I probably didn't need to do this yet, but I think it's going to be all right. Um, but I thought it looked so pretty with it. So sometimes, you know, 
sometimes you can kind of come up with um, another color. This It's all in like the same family, right? Soft sea foam, mint macaron. I think they actually say there's um, granny apple green, which I tried that, but it was too kind of too bright and harsh on this one. Not in other cases, but just in this one, because I love granny apple green as a color. Okay, so we're just going to trim that off right there. Okay, now, oh yeah, this is going to be easy, right? We're going to just add this adhesive right on here and put this guy right there, believe in the magic. And I purposefully stamped this kind of up toward the top so my ribbon could kind of run along the bottom and I can move my bow a little bit because I think I want it over. Just kind of, I like to kind of curl my card a little bit so that I'm not ripping as I'm trying to move my ribbon over. There we go, so we got that one there. Now last step is to add a couple of little blingy bits, right? So these are the adhesive backed sequins and gems. We have kind of some silver, and I think these are actually Coastal Cabana, but again, you can kind of bend the colors. You know, they work perfectly on here. Or you could even use these Fresh Freesia ones. Maybe we'll try that. Let's try Fresh Freesia. I'm being like all crazy today, trying different stuff, but I feel like Fresh Freesia would work on here also. And maybe you'd even see them a little bit more, because I did put a couple like over here. Yeah, actually, you can kind of see them better, can't you? Okay, so again, you guys will have to tell me which do you like better, the Coastal Cabana or the Fresh Freesia sparkles on there. Diane, hello! I think there's still a bag for you out on my porch, too. A little thank you package for you from your last order. I'm so glad you're popping on. I hope you're hearing me say that. So stop by the porch sometime and pick it up. I keep meaning to send you another message. Um, but yeah, it's out there with your name on it. The little bag is. Okay. Um, okay. So I think we are good, ladies. I'll clean those off in a sec. I can't remember if I did that or not. But quick reminder, okay, as always, here we go. If you put an online order in through me using this host code right here, right, um, you will get these projects that I just demonstrated, one of each of these as a thank you from me for your order. You also get to pick from either the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or these are the champagne rhinestones. That's my free embellishment for this month. And your name is going to go in the drawing to win the cheerful basket stamp set. Okay, now don't forget today is the last day to order and um, get your discounts on the seasonal sale stuff. Again, annual catalog product, uh, dies, embossing folders, and... Uh, what's the other one? Designer series paper. Dyes, embossing folders, designer series paper are all 20% off. Can I do that? I'm trying to lift another finger. <laughs> stamps are 15% off. So for example, this stamp set, 15% off. And then um, punches are 10% off. Okay, but last day is today. So order, use this host code. You get all this free stuff too, and you'll get that discount. If you bump your up, order up to over $100, you get five free handmade cards in addition to all of this too. All right. Thanks, ladies. I'm glad you are enjoying today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Anna Monica. I see you guys commenting. Thanks, guys, for hanging out with me. I hope you have a, um, a great weekend and an awesome Thanksgiving next week. Hopefully, I'm ready to put my feet up and relax and watch some football. <laughs> Hopefully, you guys have a great Thanksgiving as well, and we'll see you back here in two weeks. Bye, everybody. Thank you.